Hi there, my name is Patrick, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the membrane on an N4M DO sensor. Doing so can bring a little bit of life back to your sensor that might be missing a, couple of a bit of range. Alright, so to do this process, we're going to need one M4M sensor. We're going to need a bottle of 1M uh, potassium hydroxide solution. We're going to need a membrane replacement kit with at least one membrane and at least one O-ring. We're going to need a sharp knife or box cutter. We're going to need a membrane alignment guide. And we're going to need some tissues. As well as this, it is recommended to wear some gloves and to do the entire process over a sink. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your sensor and you're going to remove the tip. And you can just unscrew it like this Let's set aside and the next step is you want to remove all of the components that are placed on the tip of the sensor and you can do that just by sliding them off using your finger and thumb and you can just place those aside. Lastly you'll get to the old membrane and you can just take the membrane off and place it aside as well. Next what you want to do is you want to give your the tip of your sensor a quick rinse under the tap just with some water just to get off any of these old electrolyte that was left on there. So then take your tissue, give it a rub off, and your sensor is now ready to go. So the next thing you want to do is you want to actually put the sensor down just for a minute, and you want to take your, your sensor membrane alignment guide, and you want to make sure that the, the top of it is separated from the bottom of it. You want to put this on your bench, grab yourself a membrane, a spare membrane from your membrane replacement kit, Place that over the top, making sure it's very flat over the top of the membrane alignment guide. And then you want to take your membrane alignment collar and place it down on top of the alignment guide. And you just want to make sure that your membrane alignment guide is nice and taut. Next, what you want to do, get the sensor again and hold it face up, so straight up in the air. Then take your electrolytic solution and place a single drop of solution on the very tip of the sensor, just like that. Next, you want to take your alignment guide and you want to just gently place it over the top of the sensor and push down just slightly. Now you don't want to push too far down because you don't want the membrane to fall off at this point, but you want it to be slightly taut just like this. Next, what you want to do? Go to your, your uh, new membrane kit and you want to take one of the two red rings and you want to just gently place the red ring over the tip of the sensor and you want to push down nice and hard on the membrane until the membrane alignment guide should just fall off like that and you can pull your red ring as far down as it goes. Next, take off your membrane alignment guide and just put that to the side and the next thing you want to do, get one of your O-rings from your spare kit and you're just going to just gently place that over the tip of the sensor as well and push it down until it fits nicely into the groove in the tip of the sensor. Next, get your second red ring, push that down as well. And you should have another red ring, uh, an O-ring sandwich between the two red wings, just like this. Next, grab yourself a small box cutter. There is one included with the kit. And you want to just slowly cut away all of the excess membrane at the bottom of the two red rings. And that should leave you a nice clean sensor tip just like this. Lastly, you can give your sensor tip a little bit of a, a wash under some water, dry it off again, and finally, screw on the sensor cap once more. And there you go. That is how you replace the membrane on a DO sensor.